so fucking pissed right now. I'm fuming. People don't understand me. It takes a lot. A lot. You can piss me off a little bit and I'll get smart ass on you. But don't push this Pisces, Aries rising, Scorpio into fucking shitty land. I'll fucking rip your fucking throat out. That's the way I was raised. That's who I am. And I fucking try not to go here. But god dang it, when somebody pushes me, I'm so here. Yes. I am pissed. You have no idea. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and make this video. We're going to make this video because if he can't communicate with me when I'm like this, then it builds up and then I explode like the freaking Mount Vesuvius. Okay, don't even get started with me. Oh my God. Fucking God. Okay. Let's go through this step by freaking step. Oh, let me do my echinacea. Bought this six months ago, still have it. Bought this six months ago, still have it. My daughter-in-law sent me this. Oh, I'm so aggravated right now, and my stomach hurts. And I have to go get my prescriptions, but they're not open for 20 more minutes, so I might as well make a video. I'm supposed to get on the fucking computer today. I was supposed to. Anyway, let's get started at step one. Two and a half years ago, maybe three now, I could check the date. Um, somebody told me in a diesel truck that they were going to Houston. I said, why? To get a truck. Well, he was on a Wiley truck. What happened? Normally asked, well, what happened? Well, I have to get another truck. I'm like, oh, okay. Guess that means you're getting another truck at, in Houston at the yard with E.W. Wiley. No, he picked up a truck that his brother brought from Alabama to buy it and didn't say a word to me. So here we go again with the unforgiveness and the resentment. E -e. You know what? I resent that fact, and I'll tell you why. He ends up telling me he did it to get my goat. Don't tell me that. So he begs my forgiveness. Three months later, I already knew. My daughter told me he bought a truck. So I call him, and I'm like, what do you mean you bought a truck? What do you mean you bought it? With what money? Because we don't buy things when we have no retirement. We don't go and invest in things when you have no money that's cush. You don't go and... Including lying to your wife. Which breaks trust and respect. So then I have to build that up again, don't I? That would be the healthy way, wouldn't it? Okay, so I've dealt with that for three years. He didn't come home for six months before I got sick. Six months. What did I tell this freaking little... Oh, you have no idea what he did today. And last night. So he buys this truck. It's $900 a month. Woohoo! Guess what happened? The $10,000 truck, the $10,000 truck, maybe at its worth when he got it, that was supposed to be paid off in 10 months, it broke down constantly. It never ended. I had nothing but stress. Nothing but stress. Nothing but stress. Stress, 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 stress. By the time he did get paid, because of all the breakdowns and tires and batteries and this, I would have to jump his truck with my car. That's how bad it got. Okay, but I put up with that. And I told Tim I forgave him, but I would never forget. That's why it's getting brought up again, because I never friggin' forgot. So it started there. Eighty to ninety thousand dollars later, he still doesn't own a truck. I wonder why. In the meantime, I have to lean out. So being the little smart ass I am and the little poor girl that I've been all my life, but mind you, when I worked, this didn't happen. So anyway, I'm at school, I'm in college, I have a four point oh, I'm gonna get my degree. But I decided I don't want to do that. Because I decide that kids aren't really getting education, so I don't want to do that. So I have a minor and da-da-da, and a minor and da-da-da, and I have a 4.0 and every honor society available. But that doesn't have to do with the price of tea in China. But I just wanted to bring up that point. I was in college. Full-time. So, I decide I don't want to go to college anymore. I've changed my mind, which I have the right to do, by the way. Everybody has the right to change their mind at any given point without explanation. So I quit. I don't want to do it anymore. Kids aren't getting a great education, and I don't feel like doing it. So I stop. Okay. So I still had money. 
because I'm smart enough that I got a 4.0, so everybody's giving me money up the wazoo. So I had money. So while he's doing this little adventure, I have money. So I'm putting money in the account and making things float. In the meantime, he's giving money to every panty, Annie, Jimmy, Jammy, every person that you can think of. Can you send 250 to this person? I said, excuse me, you're going to be 50 years old. You might want to save that money because one day you might need it. In the meantime, the truck keeps breaking down over and over and over. So he makes a big run to Canada because, wow, we're going to go for that big money, right? Just like the ice road. Fucking Tim. Okay. I get sick. That's life, right? People get sick. Nobody's ever seen me sick, so they don't know what to do. They're all freaking out. So he shows up after six months of being on the truck because I'm laying here like half dead. I was in my own feces, for God's sakes. That tells you everything. I couldn't think like this, and I couldn't talk like this. So he comes home, and he's like, do you have dementia? What the hell does dementia have to do with the price of tea in China? It had nothing to do with it. I couldn't think. I said to him, I, I, I don't even feel like I'm in my body. There's something seriously wrong with me. Now we know different, don't we? It's raining outside. I get to go travel in that today. It's so much fun. And go get my four prescriptions that I can't afford. <sighs> so, anyway, he's in a truck bought by his brother, who is a compulsive, manipulating liar. He's never done one honest thing in his life. So now he's in a truck and it's breaking down constantly. So let's go ahead and fix this thing for the next 20 fucking years. By the way, I get sick. So Timmy comes in, he's deciding that he's not going to drive a truck anymore. He's going to take care of me because it's the right thing to do. You know what I told him? You better go because you have $6,000 right now, but in about mm, 10 days, you're going to have about 3000 And as you're going through the 3000 you really have 1500 So let's be honest. You have about $1,500 and you just stopped at the store to get five packs of cigarettes. Roll them. That's what I do. Okay, in the meantime, I just want you to know I'm smart enough that I stockpile stuff. I grow a garden. I do things like that so I can have food. Because when I was a kid, I starved to death. So I make sure that I always have food. Why do I always do that? Because when you don't have food, it sucks. And I'm not going to go get food stamps because I don't feel like lying some more. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm sick and he's sitting here dilly-dallying around. And he shows up and I'm out of my mind laying here all messed up. Great husband, right? I love him. Oh my God, he's so great. He hadn't been home for six months. I didn't even know who my husband was after six months. Okay, so fine. But in my mind, I'm doing the math. Okay, $6,000, take 3000 out of that, and take another 1500 just because. And you never know what's going to happen, right? So we have to go to the doctor. That's $1,500 right there. Off the top of the six thousand. Now I know the three thousand's gone, so that's forty five hundred. How much is left? Fifteen hundred. So now I know we're in trouble. One month in. Because he's always paying for a broke down truck. By the time you got the seven thousand dollars, you'd be so behind you had to pay for it. So I dealt with that for almost three years. I'm up to here with this broken down truck. I am up to here. I'm about to blow. I'm gonna blow. I'm gonna blow, and then I finally blew. His brother comes into town. He gets up early in the morning, sneaks down to the truck stop, and I said, you tell that no good son of a bitch, who's your brother, who lied to you, who I've put up with screaming and yelling at me, I am telling you right now, you better pick up his ass and bring him to my house, because I'm going to read him the riot act, because I am going to have my say. And I did tell that son of a bitch, when he told me to shut the fuck up, I was going to go over there and wring his little fucking neck. But now I don't have the gas money to go do that, do I? And that pisses me off too, because when I want to have my say, I'm going to have it. So what does he do? He signs up for 10-day free trials. What an idiot. Did he not think responsibly that in 10 days that they were going to start charging the account? So we get down to $600. Now I'm sicker than a dog. But my naturopath, who happens to be a genius, pulled me off the couch. Don't you think he needs some credit there? Cha-ching. Okay. So anyway, he's leaving to Alaska. They're going to pay for his plane ticket. Then I find out that there's no baggage. I'm like, why didn't you ask him for it? I don't know. You know what? Stop being a pansy ass. Go over there and say, listen, if you want me to come on the ice road, you might want to pay for three of my bags because I got a lot of shit to bring up there. In the meantime, I had two bags of tobacco, like old ghetto pipe tobacco, in my freezer. I kept it from a long time ago. Now, I smoke American Spirit because if you're going to smoke a cigarette, roll your own because that's $20 a carton. So if you're going to kill yourself, you might as well roll your own, right? So I quit. 
but my doctor said, get off Nicorette. It's horrible. The GMOs in that is horrible. I would rather you not be on Nicorette and smoke eight cigarettes a day than fucking take that Nicorette. I said, I trust you. I believe in you. Because he, by the way, diagnosed that pancreatic cancer like that. In the meantime, I have to go get a colonoscopy. I have to. This is what the doctors are telling me to do. They want to make sure I don't have a tumor. Jesus Christ, it's fucking hailing here. Are you fucking serious right now? I have to drive in this shit. Okay. So, we don't have any money. Okay? And he's going to Alaska. Now I say, are they going to feed you? I don't know. Why don't you call them and ask them? I will. And then he never does it. Or he runs into roaming on the phone. Guess what? We have unlimited data. Which means... If you're in the United States, you can use as much data as you want to, but not when you're in Canada. So what does he do? He goes across the border and doesn't turn the phone off. So boom, they got you for roaming. Because when you walk right across the border of Canada, and when you're sitting there for 45 minutes, guess what you get charged? So I paid phone bills, $600 a month, just so he could have T-Mobile. When I can get Rogers in Canada. But now he's not in Canada, right? He's in Alaska. But I say, be careful. Because you're going to hit me with a big phone bill on the fucking 12th. Plus the insurance is going to come out. So that right there is $130 unless you use the data. Let's be careful. So I have to check that all the time. Number two, insurance is going to come out. That's $200. So I know if I give him $300, I have roughly $100 to live on. Maybe $50. And that's what I said. I have $50 to live on. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, you do. Okay. So I pack his bags and I pack a cigarette machine and the tobacco, but I can't fit the tubes in there because they'll get squished with all his shit. And then I realize he has a CB radio, brand new, and a brand new headset, three by the way, which costs an arm and a leg. And so I don't know what's going on out there in truck driving. He's buying all this stuff. He's pulling draws. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Why don't we have any money? Well, one time he did a load for $14,000 and there was 7,000 in draws. What the fuck are you spending your money on? You know why? He's lazy. He's irresponsible and he's lazy. He's lazy. He, he would rather go buy three packs of Paul Mall than just make them and cut back like I do. Do I look like a wealthy woman to you? Do you see my ratty tatty hoodie? Yeah, I've had it for years. I don't have Louis Vuittons. That's not what we're talking about here. So he lays here and he's the do-gooder. This is Timmy's, this is his fucking mentality. I'm the do-gooder. I'm taking care of Cindy. Uh, she has dementia. Who said I had dementia? Nobody said I had dementia. And then they put me in the hospital, spending money right there. He would come in with all this food. I would be like, what are you doing? I get, ho I get hospital food for free. What are you doing? What are you doing? So my daughter comes over. She wants chicken and dumplings. He goes off to the store, and I see a $120 purchase. I'm like, what the fuck costs $120 for chicken and dumplings? It's a chicken and some fucking Bisquick. Go get the shit, and I'll make it. Right? He walks in with like 10 bags. Tim bags of ho-hos and ding-dongs and all kinds of weird stuff. You know what? I don't eat that shit. And neither should you. Because you've been complaining about your stomach hurting. So maybe you should eat more healthy like the food I have in there. But he doesn't want to eat that shit. He wants to eat other shit. So he thinks it'll make me happy to get me like 20 Snicker bars. I don't eat Snicker bars. I eat my own food that I make, that I bulked up, that I saved. So I always have it so that way I have something to eat. Don't trigger me, motherfucker. Don't take me into shitty land. Or I'll fucking pop off on you, Timmy. So... By the way, <clears throat> so we have $300. I know I have about 50 So I'm like, okay, I get one can of tobacco that'll leave me with $15. But then they're going to take shit out on this and put it in the savings account so I could transfer that money and put it over there. So maybe I have like $100. Okay, good. So he calls me yesterday, and he's like, I'm going to get paid tomorrow. I'm like, did you do direct deposit? No. Okay, did the truck get fixed? Well, I don't know. Well, then how are you leaving on a load if the truck's not fixed? Tim, I told you when you got there, I was no longer going to be your agent, your broker, and your fucking dispatch. So you're going to be on your own in Alaska, which means you have to walk in the door and go, I'm not moving that truck until it gets fixed. It doesn't need a bald tire on the front steer. It will fucking pop. You will fucking die. So you're going to have to stand up to somebody. And I wasn't saying it this way because I wasn't pissed off then, but now I'm pissed off. So I'm going to be a bitch about it. By the way, okay, when you first got there, when that guy gave you a ride to the store, you should have picked up cigarette tubes because you had two bags of tobacco so you could make cigarettes because your fucking cigarettes are $13 a pack. Multiply that by 10 and you know what how much a carton costs. He smokes three packs a day. But then I have the Nicorette, so I dump that in his bag in case he can't have his cigarettes. 
because I know there's no money. Okay, so then he broke down on a loan. He said, I think I'm getting paid for it. Walk into the motherfucking office and be like, am I getting paid? When am I getting paid? Here's a direct deposit. I need to calm down to check. Something. Give me something. Okay, but he doesn't take care of any of that. So finally yesterday he calls me back when I'm being really nice about it and tell him, Tim, you're responsible for your success and your failure. Go to those people and tell them you're not working on the ice road unless they fix your truck. If there's a cracked uh, belt, you want it fixed. If there's a steer tire that's bald, you want it fixed. If there's some ignition problem or air compression, by the way, which means the trailer won't stop without air. That's fucking stupid. So I say, I told you, I've warned you. I am not your agent, I'm not your dispatch, and I'm no longer your broker. So you have to make those loads happen, and you have to make sure money happens, and you have to do the right thing, but you sat on your ass for three fucking months because I was sick, and I said to him, it doesn't matter how sick I am because if something happens, you're going to need to pay the mortgage, bottom line. And I was going to get a job part-time this year at, this, at the fucking garden center because I love it. And I want to go get a part-time job so it makes me feel better. But I haven't gone to church. I haven't done shit. All I've been doing is dealing with fucking problems. On top of my daughter having her drama and my son having his drama and cutting me short. And me trying to have a conversation about pancreatic cancer. Don't get me fucking started. I get fucking pissed at you, Timmy. I get fucking very pissed at you. Let me tell you why I get pissed at you. <clears throat> Last night I'm sitting here, and I realize I haven't checked the bank account. Maybe I should check it. You never know how much Timmy's going to spend on the regular account. And that's $35 a day, so I'm thinking in my head, if I have $50, that's $35. Ooh, I better make sure that's not going to happen because I need my goddamn cigarettes. I'm not quitting smoking right now. My fucking natural path doesn't want me on Nicorette. Nicorette was working for me. I quit. He told me, stop chewing that shit because right now you have a bad stomach ache. I don't know what the fuck is going on with you. Don't chew Nicorette. I don't care if you smoke eight cigarettes a day. Now my hair stings. I hate it. My teeth are all fucking yellow. I hate it. So I go into the account and there's a $150 purchase. I'm like, what the fuck? I look. It's PayPal. Tim, when you signed up for the 10-day free trial, why didn't you get on your goddamn phone? Can you do that by yourself, please? Other than drive a truck and be responsible for the load and be responsible for a truck which you're pretty much never in charge of. But let me just tell you this. Could you call fucking PayPal and cancel that shit the six day in or seven day in or eight day in? What the fuck ever? But you put our card number in there so now there goes $150 flying out of the fucking account. Okay, he had 300 in cash on him. 100 of that went towards baggage because he didn't take care of that. He went to the store. I asked him, did you buy food? Did you get cans of ravioli, cans of SpaghettiOs, something to survive? You took a fucking can opener. I packed it. That's not even including what happened in the basement today. Don't even get me started. When I was sick, the fucking heater broke down. Yep, right in the middle of winter. What did I tell Timmy? If there's not money put away, when shit happens, all shit hits the fan. So I laid here for three fucking days with 20,000 blankets so I could fucking survive the fucking rigid Tim below. Okay? So I don't like that shit. Shit like that doesn't happen to me. Shit like that makes me nervous. I don't like shit like that. So he tells me, I'm going to go fix the heater. So he goes downstairs, and I said, the guy said, the guy that I paid $40 to, he said to hit that white button, get your hand in the fan, and restart it. So he can't do it. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I'm like, okay, put the match there, light the pilot. Hit the white button, get your hand in the fan, and spin that motherfucker. When it started, it sounded like fucking World War III. The motherfucker was dead, okay? So he's like, I'll put an engine in it. It'll be fine. It'll cost $300. Guess what he says to me when he come up the basement? I can't fix that shit. That's what I thought, motherfucker. So, okay, thank God about the portable heaters. Well, that puts your electric bill up. I'm doing that digits in my head, okay? Electric bill, electric bill. You can't push your electric bill. You have to pay your electric. Electric's responsible. You need your electric. You need your Netflix. That's what you need. Okay, cable can go. I mean, it can go. I can restart that shit. But, you know, I got to have the Netflix. I got to have it. But you got to have internet. Oh, shit. 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 I'm starting to fucking panic because the numbers weren't making sense. Go get a motherfucking job. The minute he lands in Alaska, he has like six offers on the table. Too late now. You're in Alaska. He goes on his first run. The trainers trained him. They gave him $800. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Did you set up direct deposit? No. 
Okay, how am I going to get the money, motherfucker? Are you going to fly back here and hand me $600? He got a payday in 100 hours, but you still have to pay the fucking taxes. Which, by the way, he didn't file for his taxes. Why didn't he file for his taxes? Because it shows that he made $150,000. No, bitches, that didn't happen. We may be seeing $50,000. Maybe. Okay? Don't make me crunch numbers on you, Tim. I'll fuck your shit up. I'll slit your fucking throat, shove the fucking shit down your throat, and then I'll get your testicles and shove it down your throat on top of it. Do not piss a fucking Pisces, Scorpio, Aries rising. Do not do it. I will blow like a fucking top and I will rip fucking throats out. Okay, so now we're here. He can't fix the heater. So then he goes and picks up all the stuff out of the truck. He's decided he's going to let his brother take the truck back. After all the hell I was going through for two and a half years, the breakdowns, the drama, the screaming, the this, the that, the payment was $900 a month. That's nothing, right? But when you're not getting paid consistently, then you don't get that money. It was going to repairs. It was going to draws. Draws for what, bitch? Oh, I guess a new CB. Ha! <laughs> Who needs a new CB? Use the damn one in the truck. You never talk on the son of a bitch. So why do you need a new CB? I don't know. Three headsets. Why don't you keep track of these damn things? Why don't you go down and try to pawn those fucking things? I mean, he has so many headsets. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So what does he do? He leaves his $300 pair of glasses on the fucking truck. Then he can't see. You have to see to be a truck driver. Okay, how many times do I need to save this motherfucker? How many times do I need to save this motherfucker, son of a bitch motherfucker? How many times do I need to save him? So, he goes to Alaska with $300. I didn't have $300, but he had $300. I get him two cartons of cigarettes. I put them in his bag. I said, go get tubes. You have to. I can't pack them. You have too much shit. I went down to the basement this, this morning. God, I've been putting this off. I don't want to go see that basement. Oh, God, please don't let me see that basement. He fucking trashed every fucking room. Every fucking room in the basement is trash. His shit is just spread out. What did I say to him five days before he left to Alaska? Timmy, organize your shit and put it in boxes. I'm not cleaning up after you anymore. You're a fucking slob. I'm not doing it. I've cleaned this basement at least 50 times. I've had floods down there. Uh, okay. Last night I see $140 purchase from PayPal. What the fuck does he have on PayPal? Nothing. He was going to sell his brother's truck. That didn't all fucking pan out. So he gave the truck away to his brother. That morning he slipped out of here and took off with his fucking, took off in the car, packed all his shit in the back of my fucking SUV that I paid for. Thank you very much. He doesn't own a car. It's in my goddamn name. And he goes and fucking shoves all the shit in the back of my car and spills a cup of coffee with fucking milk in it. Guess what? Now you need to clean it. I'll clean it. Never gets done. Never fucking gets done. I'm the maid. I'm the maid. I'm the bookkeeper. By the way, he didn't do his taxes. Huh. Try to prove that shit. I doubt your brother's going to tell the fucking IRS that he fucking got my... Oh, my fucking God. Did you save the receipts? Nope. Put them in a manila envelope. Keep them on the truck wherever you go. Because if they audit your ass, you're in big fucking trouble. Don't do that shit. Don't lie. Lying will not get you anywhere. So he fudged it. He fucking put it off. He doesn't want to do it because he doesn't want to do the paperwork. You know what? I'm the one crunching the numbers. I'm the one making shit happen. So when my dogs need their dog food, I'm going to have to put them on shit dog food, which means they're going to have diarrhea and I'm going to have to clean the mess up. So you know what? Last night I see $140 go out of PayPal. I told him yesterday, what is this PayPal pending thing? Oh, I have to call them. Did he call him? When he was broke down, he could have called them. When he was sitting in the fucking goddamn place for two days, he could have called them. Then what hits? Serious radio. Did you call and cancel any of this shit? I can't afford it. I'm going to fuck land. What the fuck are you doing to me? I can't keep delaying people. I can't keep lying to people. I can't keep doing this shit. I don't live that way. I can boil some fucking lentils. My ass can fucking use my fucking bulk stock shit. I'm not out there spending money galore. I go on Amazon and buy shit in bulk. My fucking seeds for my garden are free. My fucking shit that I'm growing, I did it. The fucking soil that had to get amended, I did it. I'm the one always doing this shit. And then you drive a truck and you're responsible for a load. When you're responsible for a load that's worth a million dollars, do you think that maybe you could be responsible with a fucking bank card? 
a fucking bank card. I can't dispute the shit. Why can't I dispute it? Because it would require me to lie. And you know what? I don't want to lie another time. I'm up to here with having to lie for your fucking ass not working. You know what? That's not my fucking problem. I got sick. Sorry. I warned you. When you get into your fucking 50s, you get sick. Shit fucking happens. I'd be laying here sick, and you'd walk in here with 20 fucking bags of groceries. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Sweet rolls, uh, ding-dongs, ho-hos, fucking candy bars, fucking this shit. And all he told me the whole fucking time for two and a half years is how bad his stomach hurt. Don't eat the shit. Don't fucking eat the shit. Eat the shit in the house. Do this. Do that. So my naturopath says you have to eat quality meat. Your stomach's in trouble. I have to de-stress it. You need these proteins. You need this. So I had to pay for all that shit. Nobody came in and paid for that shit. I had to pay for it and make it fucking work. I had to go to Amazon and buy the fucking ghetto... What the fuck ever. Okay? I eat berries from fucking Walmart in the frozen section. I eat collard greens in the frozen section. I eat fucking kale in the fucking frozen section. I grow my fucking food so I can have top quality. I fucking put the effort in. Thank you very much. You couldn't call fucking PayPal and fucking discontinue that shit because your mind is where? Up your ass? And now you're paying $13 a pack for a pack of fucking cigarettes? Are you fucking kidding me? Mine costs $2 a pack. I roll my own. I take the time. I put the fucking machine in your goddamn luggage. Then I find a brand new CB, three fucking headsets, 30 fucking this, 30 fucking that, and $300 in fucking change, which I took down to the bank and put in the fucking account. So there's another fucking $300 I got wasted. Now I'm down to nothing. We're going to hit negative. But it's Friday. It's payday. Oh, you're on the ice road. So you got to come back. You didn't do direct deposit. Just saying. You had time. So now you're going to do mobile deposit, which means you have to get your goddamn phone like this, like my iPhone that I got for nothing, and take a picture. And if every number doesn't line up, your money's tied up for two weeks. You better take the fucking picture right. Because I need the goddamn money. So what did I say to him? Did you buy any food? I don't have a ride. Could you ask the fucking company? Hey, do you have a fucking car I can use? Or hey, buddy boy, you got a car here, man? I really could use a ride down to the store. I need some fucking shit. I need to get some cigarette tubes because, man, I'm fucking broke as fuck. Why can't he do that? Because his pride's up here. Quit writing checks your ass can't cash. Quit fucking acting like Donald Trump. And quit fucking spending money. Could ya? And when you fucking do something, be committed to it. And be responsible like I have to be. And fudge and jive and shuck and do all this shit. So now I gotta go pick up my prescriptions. Do I have the $4? Who fucking knows? Maybe I have to dig some fucking change up to do it. I don't live high in the hog. So what does he have in his fucking truck when he comes back? By the way, I went down to the basement. His shit is everywhere. What do I find down there? Bottles of fucking spray bleach made by fucking Clorox. I don't even buy that shit from my fucking house. What is he doing out in the truck? Buy some fucking pine salt, bitch, and clean it. Get a fucking bucket. It's like a dollar at Walmart. Get your ass down there and scrub that fucking truck. So he goes down, gets, delivers the truck to his brother, okay? He could have sold the tarps, sold the chains, sold the bungees, got some fucking cash, and put it in the bank. But no. He fucking picks him up at the airport, drops him off of the truck, and clean the truck while he was at it. Clean your fucking mess down in the basement, you son of a bitch. What do I look like, a fucking maid to you? I don't think so. I don't care if I'm sick or not fucking sick. I told you the fucking mortgage had to be paid. Now they're going to fucking lean on my house with my son's name on it? Thank fucking God I have my son. I'm going to ask him for more money? No, thank you. I'm going to ask my daughter for money? She's raising a fucking baby. No fucking thank you. I'm going to have to go to the food bank? Fucking A, bring it. I'll go. That's not the fucking point. When are you going to like take your fucking pride down to zero and fucking go over there and do what's right for your family? When are you going to stop fucking signing up my bank card for something that doesn't fucking exist? Why do you do this shit and not fucking take care of it? Why didn't you buy food for fucking Alaska and make fucking sandwiches? Why are you buying shit at truck stops? There's one fucking truck stop. Why are you stopping there and spending 80 fucking dollars? Why did you do that? You have tobacco, you have a fucking machine, go get the tubes. Ask somebody for a ride. Get the fuck out of your fucking egotistical bullshit and fucking go ask somebody for a fucking ride. Pay for a cab. That would be cheaper than fucking the shit that's going down right now. Then you sign up for PayPal and don't tell me. You sign up for fucking Sirius Radio. Why? Because you're in Alaska? Come on. Put it on fucking AM and listen to the Christian channel. I don't care. 
You know what it's going to cost me to reset up all this shit? You know what it's going to cost me in the thousands of fucking paying everybody back, keeping everybody at bay, throwing a little $10, $20 payment here and there. All the credit cards are tapped out. All the change has been cashed in. There's no more money left. There's no more fucking money. And then you're going to go negative and then I'm going to pay $35 a day. That's a can of tobacco for me. That lasts me a month. A fucking month. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I'm going to flip shit. I'm going to slice his fucking throat. I'm going to whoop his fucking ass like a goddamn mother. I'm tired of mothering my own husband. I'm so fucking sick of it. Stop your shit. Knock it the fuck off. If I can bust my ass out in a garden sick, I'm sure you can go over to an office, knock on the fucking door, walk in and be like, I need direct deposit, bitches. Instead of doing a mobile deposit in which you probably won't pay attention and one of the numbers will be off and for two weeks I won't have a check. Get your shit together. Why the fuck are we out on the ice road if you can't get your shit together? Oh, the truck broke down. Me, 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 me. Go tell the motherfuckers. Listen, you motherfucker. I've been driving for fucking 25 fucking years on the ice. Don't tell me how to fucking drive. Get that fucking front end ball tire and get it done. Go over here and get this done. Or my ass needs a ticket home. Then get your ass home. Use my fucking car to go to work and fuck my whole world up for spring and summer. Thank you. Fucking pisses me off. I'm so fucking mad right now, I could fucking spit a fireball with fucking diarrhea on it. Who the fuck does that shit when we're in fucking financial shit down? Fucking shut down. Fucking the goddamn NASDAQ is not happening in this motherfucker. But give his son 50 bucks. What the fuck is that about? Tell me what that's about. You have no retirement. You don't own this home. Your name is not on it. It's my motherfucker. You're putting my shit in jeopardy. You're putting my fucking son's credit in jeopardy. You're fucking my shit up. This fucking cup my best friend bought me. This fucking chapstick I bought six months ago. This fucking nail clipper, he showed up with another one of these motherfuckers. He's he spent $4 on another nail clipper when there were 15 of them in his bag. I opened the son of a bitch. There was $1, $20, $100 bills. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck are you doing out there? Make the fucking money. Send it fucking home. Quit putting me in this position. You're giving me a fucking hole in my stomach from the goddamn ulcer that I have right now. And you fucking got my account hit last night. And I have to fix this shit. I'm not the fixer. I'm not a financial wizard. You're not Donald Trump. Quit writing fucking checks your ass can't cash. And don't put me in fucking situations where I have to fucking lie. I don't like that. I'm very uncomfortable. So I'm putting this on fucking blast. Blast your ass. Grow the fuck up and make it fucking happen. I've had to make it happen with two kids on my own as a single parent. There's only one fucking time my kids didn't have a place to sleep was in the back of my fucking car. And that night I made fucking money at a restaurant. Made 20 bucks in tips. Paid for a fucking Motel 6 and stuck my kids in a motel. The next fucking day I had a place to live. I had a fucking babysitter and my shit was on point. And I was working my ass off 24 fucking 7. I raised kids by myself. I paid for shit by myself. I put the fucking 30 grand down on this motherfucker when I moved in here. And I have fucking designer shit that I don't wear today. You know why? Because I'm not a fucking fake. But I'm also not irresponsible. When you fucking tap on my ass let me know you're gonna tap it I'll take care of it they won't let me do it you're the fucking initiator it's your name your social security number your fucking car number oh my fucking god my head's gonna pop off who the fuck spends $380 in one night now that means you took the $50 away from me that means that I'm going to have to sit there and fucking chew Nicorette that my fucking doctor doesn't want me to chew. I'm going to have... How many pieces are in there? They're probably gone. I, I don't fucking know what he's doing. But you gave the truck back to your brother. Then he texts him yesterday. The truck broke down. His brother. What does he do? He responds to the fucking text like an idiot. Who, why would you talk... To that cocksucker who took your fucking money, put your family in jeopardy for three years, lied to your ass. You, I put up with his screaming ass every fucking month. He never knew how many payments were being made. I had to keep track of that shit. And then you just hand him his fucking truck back. And don't say a fucking word to him. And then he texts you and says, by the way, the head went out in the truck and I paid $4,000. You know what, son of a bitch? You can't pay me back for the three years of aggravation and you'll get this fucking video too, David Thomas, because by the time I do get money, I'm going to get in my car, drive over there and slap you silly. 
for fucking deceiving your own brother. And then he was so stupid as to let you. It pisses me off. Who went and fucking grabbed the $9,000 to fucking bury my sister? And then I didn't even get to go to Phoenix. Then I go to fucking my reunion and I pay for my best friend's shit. Her fucking electric was off. Her fucking water was off. She has a fucking husband. He works all week in fucking L.A. and drives back. He can't pay his fucking electric bill. So I pay it because I'm there and I want a hot shower. It's my reunion. I'm there to have good times. I pay all her fucking bills. Come to find out she's a fucking dope fiend. She's taking fucking prescription pills. How do I know that shit? Lose my best friend. Lose my fucking sister. Lose every goddamn buddy in my life that was fucking honest with me. Goddamn son of a bitch, Tim Thomas. You have pissed me off to no end. I want to spit fucking nails right now and shoot them right at your fucking forehead. Call PayPal. Call Sirius Radio. Disconnect this shit because my insurance is going to go through. My this is going to go. By the way, I'm only on goddamn fucking liability now. I don't even have full coverage, which means if I get fucking hit, I don't even get a fucking hospital bill. Thank you. Then he breaks his fucking glasses. What a fucking fuck job. Get your shit together. Pull your shit together. Make it fucking happen. Do what you gotta do. I'm supposed to feel sorry for you because you're on the ice road? That was your fucking call. I didn't tell you to go out there. Go back company side and be a fucking no-got for 25 more years. Every trip to Canada, every trip to Alaska. Fuck the ice road. I dealt with Newfoundland. Anybody know about that place? Fucking fuck what? I had to worry all fucking night long. I'm over here worried about you and you're spending 80 bucks a night? Is this what's going to occur while you're in the ice road? Because we're not fucking rich. We need a goddamn retirement so our kids don't have to fucking take care of us. That's what's going down in Chinatown. I'm sick of your shit. Get your shit together and make it fucking happen because now I'm blowing my fucking top. You have pushed me to no end and today I have to go get my prescriptions. Yeah. Yeah. So what if I eat fucking buffalo meat? I make my own goddamn makeup out of fucking beet powder. Which, by the way, I haven't gone to church. I really would love to go to church and feel positive about my fucking life. God fucking bless America. I'm so pissed off right now. Oh! You have pushed me to the point of explosion. You think you have stress? I'm over here calling every two panty annie motherfucker, making fucking deals, telling them when I think I can pay them, lying through my fucking teeth, doing this, doing that, and then thank God I didn't go to the store the other day when you told me to go and pick up my cabbage for my stomach. I need this son of a bitch. I can't fucking shit without it. You know what it feels like when you can't shit for fucking a week? It feels like shit. I've been pushed to my fucking edge. I'm gonna blow like a motherfucking volcano. Supposed to feel sorry for you because you're on the ice road? Feel sorry for me because I'm in Aurora, Colorado dealing with your fucking mess that you don't ever deal with. Grow the fuck up. I'm not your mother. I'm your wife. I've told you so many fucking times. Quit spending money. Quit spending money. Stop spending money. You only really have $1,500. Tim, 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 Tim. I am timmed out. I am fucking done. I'm fucking over it. I'm ready to go get a full fucking time job, sick and all, cancer, no cancer, get fucking the party started and pay some fucking bills and make it fucking happen to have a comfortable fucking life and go buy some groceries and make sure it fucking happens. I'm always the fucking shit show fucking maker. I always have to make fucking shit happen. I'm always stealing deals. I ran your house for three fucking years, motherfucker. Who do you think called brokers? Who do you think agents? This, that, somebody was ripping you off here, there, everywhere. If people only knew what the trucking industry was like, it's a fucking fuck show. That's why I grow my own food. I promised my cousin who's dying I would go see him in fucking Arizona. I don't have the gas money. That's how fucking bad it is. You know what, man? Kick fucking rocks. I'm pissed. I'm going to go pick up my prescriptions. Hopefully they're only a dollar. I told you to get food. I told you to get tubes. You didn't have time. Well, you sat on your fucking ass for a day. When you're, have a day you're sitting your ass down, 
Go fucking take care of shit, just like I have to do. And hopefully when I get in the car, there's some goddamn gas because you left me with some gas. God only knows how many times you ran down there to get a couple packs of Pall Mall. And you smoked all my American spirit, which is very expensive, by the way, $35 a can. But you know what? You know I need American spirit because I'm organic. And it's bad enough that I'm not a vegan anymore. And now I have to smoke fucking pipe tobacco. Fuck that shit. I'm not smoking it. I'll put the fucking account in negative just to get a can of fucking American spirit because it makes me feel bad. Thank you very much. You're a shit show. Kick fucking rocks.